Hi there. We're going to do one of my favorite problems now. Froggy jumps off a log. Here's the, the word problem. A frog leaps from a stump 3.9 feet high and lands, I guess coincidentally, 3.9 feet from the base of the stump. We can consider the initial position to be 0, 3.9, right there, and the landing point to be 3.90. Answer the following questions. It is determined that the height of the frog as a function of its distance x from the base of the stump is given by this function, which I've already put in the graphing calculator. How high is the frog when its horizontal distance from the base of the stump is 2 feet? Well, let's see. Um, somebody put a 2 in there. I'm pretty sure that's not the answer. Let's find out. Yeah, there we are. Okay, well, let's graph this. Now, the x-axis is ground level. You know that the, the uh, uh, frog didn't start below ground. And, in fact, the frog started right there. So let's change our window to make it more visible. Let's let x min equal 0, x max equal 4. Up, 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 no, no. 0, come down, 4. After all, he only gets 3.9 feet from the log, so 4 seems adequate. Uh, y min, let's let that be 0. He's not going below ground. Did it again. There we go. And y max, well, we know that the frog isn't going to get above 4 feet. Wow, it might. Let's go to 5. All right, so there's our window. And now let's graph it again. Much, much better. Now, the first thing we're being asked is how high, how high up is the frog when its horizontal distance from the base of the stump is 2 feet? In other words, about there. Well, that's a very easy question to answer with the graphing calculator because all we have to do is ask the graphing calculator. In fact, you could even do it by hand by just plugging in a 2 for the x's because x means distance from the log. However, let's just go ahead and ask. Okay, I'm going to go to value, which is right there. So I'll hit enter. And it says x equals. Well, I want x equals 2. Enter. And this tells me when the frog is 2 feet from the base, it's three. the frog is 3.8 feet above the ground. So I'm going to enter 3.8 feet. Excellent. I love it when I get told that. Oh, okay, graphing calculator, come back. All right. At what two distances from the base of the stump after it jumped was the frog four feet above the ground? This is the more interesting problem. I'm going to go to Y2, and I'm going to enter 4 for Y2. And now this is what I have. OK. Now, the frog, right after it jumps, is going to be 4 feet above the ground there. And it keeps going up, 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 starts going down, 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 and it once again is 4 feet above the ground. What we have to do is find both of the x coordinates, which are the distance from the base, that this 4 feet height occurs at. Okay, well, let's do it. We're going to do intersect. That is, we're going to use the intersect utility 
right here. So I'm going to click on 5. Now, I start on the left. I always go left to right. Maybe you don't have to. But I want to. So notice it's on the blue curve. So let's just let it be on the blue curve. And it's asking, is this the first curve? That means Y1. And yes, it is. So I'm going to hit Enter. Now it jumps down to the red curve there. Now you can see it's on, well, it's on a straight line. But in the, uh, <clears throat> in the language of the graphing calculator, anything that's graphed is a curve. So just consider the red line a curve. And yes, that's where it is right now. Now it says guess. When we're finding the point of intersection of two lines, it's not really necessary to guess because they only intersect at one point. Um, here you can see that there are two points of intersection. So I am going to have to guess to let the graphing calculator know which point of intersection I want. There I am. That's my guess. I'm going to hit Enter. And this is what I'm told. When x equals that, y equals 4. So let's see how many places we should round to. Use a comma to separate answers as needed. Round to the nearest tenth as needed. That's one decimal place. So I'm going to let x equal 0.1. That'll be my first guess. And then a comma. Now, I go back. Ah. Where'd my picture go? There it is. OK. Now we're going to find this point over here. I'm going to move a little closer to it. Okay. Now, once again I go second trace. Intersect. Okay, let's move a little closer. I'm going to hit Enter and Enter. And now my guess is going to be over here. Enter. And we're told 1.788.1527, but we're only rounding to the first decimal place. So this 8 is going to cause the 7 to round up. So I go back over here. And we'll get it all together eventually. 1.8. All right, let's see. Woohoo! There we go. Now, at what distance from the base did the frog reach its highest point? Well, that means we have to know H. And for that we're going to have to calculate. So I'm going to pause the uh, computer for a minute while I get my tablet out. So here we are as though no time had passed at all. And now I remember that H equals negative B over 2A. Well, let's see. My B is 0.95, so that will be 0.95. Negative 0.95, negative B, negative 0.95 over 2 times negative 0.5.
Well, 2 times 0.5 is 1. Negative over negative is positive. So h is going to be at 0.95. round to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to see if that's correct. It is. Woo hoo hoo. More questions. All right, what is the maximum height of the frog? Goodness. All right. Come here, calculator. Wabbit emu. All right, there we are. Now, what we have to know is how high the frog is when uh, its distance from the log is 0.95 feet, which would be about there. So what we're going to do is second trace value. Ah, no, no, no. OK, I'm going to have to go back. And I have to get rid of y2 first, so clear. Now, go back to y1, second trace, value, in a minute, 0.95. If x is 0.95, what is y? 4.35, because now we're being asked to round to the nearest hundredth, which is two decimal places. So I am going to say 4.35 feet. Where's, ah, ah, 4.35. Check answer. Good job. That's how we calculate where and when Froggy is. Talk to you later.